Oh yeah, there's something very meta about it. Ah, oh, this is so cool. Just works on like loads of levels. Who is she in the... Oh God. Hello, welcome to this video. My name's Dan, AKA Lucid. I'm a singer, songwriter, music producer person. And today I'm going to be reacting to Lana Del Rey's brand new music video for Candy Necklaces. I'm obsessed with this. Candy Necklaces. Let's go. Hello. So, um, since did you know there's a talent version boulevard came out i've been obsessed with the album like truly obsessed it's been such a lovely album to really lose myself in and really just absorb something that was kind of i guess missing was the visual element like we haven't had any music videos not even for a and w or for the title track or anything so this is going to be my weekly video for this week i know i usually post on fridays but i thought i'd get it out a day before if you haven't checked out my did you know there's a tunnel under ocean boulevard reaction i will link it in the corner for you and it'll also be linked at the end of the video last week i reacted to a bunch of her unreleased tracks including serial killer velvet crowbar and a few others so if you want to check that one out i'll link that at the end of the video as well. Candy necklaces. Let's go. So it's almost like a kind of Hollywood behind the scenes. Oh yeah, there's something very meta about it. It's like she's the actress filming the movie. My first thought is that there's some kind of meta narrative to do with her, you know, playing a part and playing a part in the relationship. It's so strange. It's such a cool concept, you know. All that was cool. We're gonna go and reset. <laughs> Maybe they filmed a music video and it was shit, and then they were like, "Let's just rearrange it like a behind the scenes." I would have expected this out of all of the songs on the album, you know, to be the one with the music video. Also, like visually, her style, Born to Die era style. So there, there could be some kind of coding in that, you know. I'm guessing that's John Batiste. Interesting. Mm -hmm. That's so strange. I love it though. It's like, I love something that's meta and fourth wall breaking. Unless I've just accidentally clicked on the behind the scenes rather than the action music video. It's always a possibility. You've been acting pretty restless. Dancing like the young and restless All his candy necklaces This looks great Oh now this is proper old school Lana Maybe it's almost like her doing like some kind of meta betrayal of Lana in the past Do you know what I mean? I might just be making this shout <laughs> Like a robot Cause it's just like I just need to shoot shoot Okay so the actress is starting to break down in a way. Just that like, I'm not a robot, I can't just shoot, shoot, shoot. Wow, that's quite cool. It's almost like she's speaking the thoughts of this actress, this character. Mm. She looks really different with the blonde wig, doesn't she? It's gotta be some kind of a Marilyn reference, you know, as well. It's such a cool concept for a music video. I don't think I've ever seen anything that's like, you know, the music video is them filming the music video, you know? Because the whole thing about the video was like, why it was all supposed to be behind the scenes was because oh. all these women who like changed their name, changed their hair, like me and stuff. The point is oh. how you learn from that and not fall into your own thing. Okay, so she's like, how do you not fall into old repeated problems, right? And it's almost like she is repeating the problems and we're filming it happen, we're watching it happen and it's behind the scenes. And it's even more meta because she's explaining what the music video is about in the music video. It's so strange. It's a fa like it's so cool though. And so like such a kind of artistic angle that's so different to anything I've seen in music video form. That's so cool. What's that about? Yeah, she's putting out all the wet, all the, the wigs of like typical kind of housewife, like like kind of 1950s housewife wigs. But it's referencing old Lana because she's talking about falling into old mistakes. Mm. You've been looking pretty restless. This is totally not what I expected. All oh, 
his candy necklaces. And I suppose, yeah, like the candy necklaces, falling into repeated habits of like being cheated on and going along with it, you know. I'm obsessed with his candy necklaces. I'm obsessed with the people he's cheated on me with. Really does kind of fully flesh out what like the meaning of this song in general, doesn't it? Like, who's that? Ooh, a new section of the song. Off comes the wig. I've just got another wig on underneath. Wig reveal. I like all the little vamps in the piano to like extend the video. Seriously. Yeah. What's real? What is part of the act? Oh, this is so cool. Just works on like loads of levels. Dancing like the young and restless candy necklaces. Like suffocating. Yeah, the, the candy necklace could be the gift from him as like a sorry, an apology, right? And it's like she just keeps on taking them, you know? She just keeps on taking those necklaces. The problem persists. And it's like repeated habits that goes throughout all these women's lives that she's kind of inhabiting. It's so cool. Yeah, in every single scene she has a necklace and it kind of represents her being bought, doesn't it? Her being like controlled and not being able to take charge of her own destiny. And that's this idea of, be of it being kind of meta within a film, like you don't have charge of your own destiny. You're being directed. Ooh, oh blood, oh my God. Oh, this is fierce, this is amazing. She escaped the car, or is she in the, oh God. What's in the trunk? Is it a body? Shit. It is, isn't it? It's a body. It's her body. Is it going to be her body? Oh my god. She hasn't got a necklace on there. Is that real life? Presumably. Ha! Oh my god. It's like she's found freedom from it. It's like she's died and she's found freedom from it. This obsession with death in this album is like so, such an important part, isn't it? Oh my god. That was so good. I loved that. I just adore like how like multifaceted it, it was. All these repeated bad behaviors were symbolized by the different necklaces that she was wearing. This chain around her neck, this like symbol of ownership in these bad relationships. And it's almost like it's being filmed because it's so predictable and it's so obviously gonna happen. And like, she has no control over it until the point where she dies. And I think that symbolism of the death is really, really, really very important in this album in general, but particularly there because it symbolizes like her kind of rebirth and her like on the Hollywood Walk of Fame that must be like more recent kind of thing. She hasn't got the necklace on and she's free. And so there's a kind of like, although it's very dark, it has like such a hope to it in the end. It's almost like she's kind of living for all of those people who were stuck in those relationships throughout all the different shots in the film. And she's now like, I'm living for them because I'm free. So cool. Absolutely adored that. Works on so many levels. If you want to check out my Did You Know There's a Thailand Ocean Boulevard full album reaction, it is here. And if you want to check out me reacting to some of her unreleased tracks, it's here.